Good morning. I'm going to try vlogging today. I recently haven't been uploading as you probably have noticed. Um, and right now this is the only kind of video I feel like making. So I'm just gonna walk you through a day in my life. I have an extensive morning routine, I would say, that I have been doing now for quite some time. Um, and I'll show you my skincare and just the other activities that I'm gonna be doing today. But yeah, so this is the day of my life. So I begin my day by making my bed and making sure that my room is organized. I find that this is a good way to start the day because it helps me feel as though I've already accomplished something. Usually it's just the little things that make a difference. Next, I brew some tea. Today I reached for ginger and probiotic tea. I love the smell of this one and its aroma fills my room as I allow it to steep while I'm stretching and doing yoga. The stretches and yoga I do every day varies based on how my body feels and what I think I need to do. So long as I'm moving my body and setting daily intentions, I feel like it's a good yoga session. After yoga, I do some pranayama breathing. I highly recommend looking into these breathing techniques, especially if you struggle with anxiety disorders. Then I sit in meditation and drink my tea. Next is my workout. I have been following Chloe Ting's free workout programs for about two months now and recently started using the resistance bands. And let me just say they are life changing. All right, I just finished my workout, so I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'll show you my skincare routine right after that. I am using the Mix Easy Gentle Face Cleanser with my own unique formula. So I have been loving the Mix Easy brand and my favorite part about it is that they have customizable products. I got a cleanser and an eye cream and was able to tailor them for my skincare needs. As you are building your perfect formula, you are given a list of ingredients to choose from as well as descriptions for what each of those ingredients are good for. I chose ingredients that cleanse my skin, fight aging, hydrate, and protect my skin from pollution. And once you finish customizing your product, you get to give it a name, and I decided to go with That Good Good. If you are interested in creating your own skincare formula, I have linked to the website in the description box below, and you can use code MARLEY for 15% off your purchase. to mist my face with my Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. And all links will be in the description as well. Next is my Mix Easy Eye Cream. For this one, just a little bit goes a long way. I don't know if you can even see that. There's just a little dot on my finger. So I feel like this is gonna last a really long time. Now for my sunscreen and moisturizer, and I'm just using the VT Cosmetics Sika Essence Sun. I apply this on my face and my neck. And now Vaseline for my lips. That is my skincare routine for the morning. So now I'm gonna go eat breakfast and luckily my dad has brought me some takeout. Usually I would just have um, like Cheerios or honey bunches of oats. But yeah, it's nice to switch it up every now and then. So thanks dad. All right, I got my food. I got a veggie omelet and hash browns. I'm eating in here. This was my sister's room and she moved out. So I have taken it over and claimed it as my own. And I got my TV in here. I've decorated it for the most part, um, how I would like it. And I'm eating in here just because we have been working on our kitchen and we don't have a table in there right now. So I'm just gonna eat and watch some Broad City, I guess. So it's the next day and I didn't do everything that I had planned on doing. Yesterday, um, I was going to make a dessert for the fourth, which is today. 
um, but I ended up not going to the grocery store until pretty late at night and um, so I just didn't get around to it. But I'm going to do that today and I guess I'll just show you what dessert I'm making. Um, so I'm planning on doing like a flag cookie cake, but I'm not going to make it look like a flag. It's just a large sugar cookie, um, cream cheese, frosting, um, and blueberries and strawberries. But none of the stores that I went to, I went to three stores last night, none of them had strawberries. So I'm substituting them with raspberries. So hopefully that'll still taste good. So I'll just show you the process of making that. Okay, so I didn't follow the beginning of the recipe or really any part of the recipe all too well just because I switched recipes in the middle and I was pretty much just winging it the whole time, but it still turned out well, so whatever. Anyway, I started off by flouring my surface and my dough roller and then rolling out the dough. Um, I was using Pillsbury sugar cookie dough. Um, and as you can see, I struggled a little bit with this, so I needed my mom's help. And then we decided that breaking up the dough before rolling it out was much more effective. Next, I placed the dough into the pan. Then I put the dough in the oven to bake for 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that was baking, I started making the cream cheese frosting. I added one 8 ounce package of softened cream cheese and three cups of powdered sugar in a bowl and mixed them together on medium speed. I did the mixing off camera just because the cord for my mixer wouldn't reach the outlet from where I was standing. According to the recipe I switched over to, I should have also added a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of lemon juice but like I said, it turned out great anyway. And lastly, I spread the frosting over the cookie and arranged the fruit on top. So that was a day in my life, really two days, but I'm gonna end it here. Because it's the fourth, I'm gonna be spending the rest of the day with family and friends, and I'm not gonna be filming. So that is all for this video. If you did enjoy, please let me know and give this a like, and you can subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at Marley underscore Ray. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.